Hey folks, been a while since uh, did a video. This is of a machine that I put together. Lazy man's chainsaw. It's good for doing logs. The machine's an old uh, lawnmower that uh, the deck was shot. So I uh, actually I built a, a five-foot uh, Kubota snowblower that fits on this thing, three-point hitch blower. We didn't get any snow this winter for me to run it, for me to do a video. But I got a log up here in the field. I got to chop up, so I put the uh, saw attachment on it. So I'll run that shortly. It's a four-cylinder diesel, EMR diesel. Like a top. Yeah, it's a nice little machine. It's okay. I'll uh, get her running. All right. Bought this machine off my neighbor. Mower deck was trashed. So, I decided to use it for multiple purposes. I used the original PTO setup that's on this tractor. It's electric PTO. Um, I took the 90 degree gearbox that used to be on the lawnmower rotated at 90 degrees so that the of course the shaft came out the side and then uh, welded it up to hold it and then if you notice on a regular chainsaw the uh, the bar runs down basically the right side of the saw when you're holding the saw to get the correct rotation, I had to flip it this direction, which threw the oiler hole off a little bit. So I had to re-drill the bar. What it is, I closed the oiler hole up on this side and then drilled one on the other side. So the oiler passage that's in underneath this bar comes in. Through that hose there straight through that nipple comes through a hole in the other side of this bar and travels back through and then it gets of course picked up by the chain um, just the regular bolt set up that hold the bar and it's pretty dirty I was sawing with it there's your adjuster screw for tightening up the chain to build all that inside and then the uh, bar oil comes down out of an old lawnmower gas tank just to a valve I open up to where I need it to feed the chain and uh, when it's running I only run the the engine about half speed so the chains not going as fast as it would on a regular chainsaw but you know, at the speed it's running, it, it goes down through pretty good. Uh, it's a three foot bar. I'd like to have a four footer to get through the big logs, but get what you get. So. That's the deal. Hydraulic up and down. Just push it. And I built it so that when you're sawing through a log, you don't want to get into the dirt. So that's as far down as it goes. So then once you're through the log, all you got to do is flip the log over and just finish off that short cut with uh, your handheld chainsaw. 
So this shows the majority of the the heavy works. You're not bending over, killing your back. There it is.